Hello friends, if you enjoy while learning the English language, then it's okay. And if you feel bored while learning the English language, then it will be some kind of problems for you in learning the language because you are forcing yourself to learn the language. I think if you want to uh, learn or you want to be fluent in English language, then you should enjoy while learning the language. Without enjoyment, if you force yourself to learn the English, then you will feel some kind of tension and pressure on your mind. So, if you want to uh, go ahead in learning English language, enjoy while learning the language. I will share my story with you that uh, I started uh, learning English by writing the letters to other people in English language because in previous time uh, I loved uh, to write letters and uh, I wrote so many letters uh, around the world in English uh, language and I will tell you that uh, uh, what first letter I wrote and uh, my first letter was to Secretary General of United Nations Kofi Annan. Although I was not uh, very good in English at that time, um, 20 years back, but uh, in very simple sentences uh, I wrote that letter and in response uh, I got the reply. And that reply gave me the encouragement uh, to do something more. And uh, then uh, after that uh, I found some pen pale magazines uh, where I found the addresses of uh, some other pupils and I also enrolled myself uh, into those pen pill magazines and the uh, people used to uh, write me letters from all over the world, from different parts of the world. In this way, it was a very uh, good thing for me to know about the world, uh, different countries of the world because whenever I used to get the letter from different parts of the world, I then started learning about those countries that uh, what was the location of uh, those countries. So I was very curious uh, about uh, the things uh, to learn and uh, I was uh, also thinking, I was also understanding uh, that uh, English is uh, the best way to know more about the world because uh, this is the international language and uh, through this uh, language I can communicate uh, to the world and uh, also I can know about uh, the words, uh, about their culture, about their territory, about their people, about their religion and some other things. So this was a great interest in myself that I should make myself fluent in English language. However, in my previous time I was able to read the good English. But whenever it comes to speak, I feel sometimes I felt at that time problems. So I thought that uh, to speak uh, fluent English or to speak a little English, uh, I should do the practice. Then uh, uh, in previous time, I used to read the books uh, in fiction uh, form. Then I thought that I should uh, uh, read the books in uh, dialogue form. So I some way found some books uh, of uh, spoken English uh, where uh, the uh, sentences and dialogues were written. Uh, such as uh, some people are going to the market and they are talking to each other and some people are were going to the picnic and they are talking to each other. In this way I made myself able to understand the spoken words because uh, sometimes uh, here in our society it is the custom uh, to read the books just to pass the examination, not just to get the knowledge. So I wanted to uh, get uh, uh, knowledge uh, about the English language. I wanted to uh, speak the language. So I thought that I should uh, work uh, on that level and th that uh, through way, uh, that way can lead me towards the speaking language, spoken English, towards the spoken English language. So I read a lot of books and then I, whenever I used to watch the television programs, and art movies. In some of uh, the movies at that time, there were the subtitles. So I used to watch the movie scenes and after watching the scenes, I used to uh, wrote down the subtitles uh, in my notebook and uh, on daily basis, I used to memorize those sentences. 
it is good to memorize but by understanding you should cram the sentences but not just to cram understand the meaning of that sentence then you cram it's okay but if you are not understanding what is said in the sentences uh, and you are cramming it will not the beneficial for you to understand the dialogues and to cramming it it makes you sometime easy to speak the language so i crammed and i learned so many dialogues words sentences in this way sometimes uh, after that after uh, learning some spoken dialogues or situations it is also necessary to fill your mind with a lot of vocabulary if you lack the vocabulary then it will be problem for you while speaking the language sometime you speak uh, spontaneously but uh, words uh, do not come uh, to your mouth and uh, you will feel uh, problem difficulty while speaking the language but if you have lot of vocabulary you can use the word resembling word instead of the real word if you have forgotten the real word you have the option to use the resembling word main thing is to make other understands what you want to say if other are understanding your dialogues your what you are saying then it's okay but if others are not understanding what you are saying then there are some problem in your speech so make your speech i think easy don't use the difficult words only use difficult words when you don't find any resembling word on that situation otherwise uh, try to uh, use uh, the simple sentences try to speak the simple language because in uh, all over the world uh, there are so many communities so many people of different languages and uh, so when they are non natives they feel some kind of problems while understanding what you are saying if you speak the simple language they will be able to easily understand what are what are you saying so priya i also prefer myself uh, to speak the simple sentences so that uh, other could easily understand me whatever i am saying you also try to speak the simple language learn the difficult words also because sometimes uh, uh, it requires uh, the need it becomes the need to for need for your speech but uh, always try to speak the simple sentences so other can easily understand whatever you want to tell them hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful please hit the like button subscribe button and before leaving the beautiful message that we all are created by almighty god so we should love each other without discrimination of religion culture territory whether male or female we all are human beings and we should do our best to spread the peace in the world not the hated in the world hello me i'll taf malik and you are watching me on my english language channel thank you bye bye